Well, all right then. G'day, guys. My name's Josh. Yo, can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die in Alpha 19. We're about to continue the Extinction series in today 55. But real quick, just before I get the day started, apparently one of my turrets out here was cutting absolutely bananas and causing all sorts of issues for some sort of undead muppet out here. So I'm very curious what was just happening out there. It's the first kind of test run, I suppose, for my new turrets. And I just don't know where it all happened. I was getting ready to start the episode. I was sitting in my base doing like my clap sync and stuff like that. Just taking my time. And somewhere, somehow, some way, someone got shot in the face. And I don't know where it all went down. I wouldn't mind knowing which... Uh, I could probably go around and like test all the turrets. See which one has ammo left over. Who's been burning through their ammo supplies before I was ready for them to. To find out which one it was. I think it was sounded like it was over here. Was it you? Did you do it? No, it wasn't you. It must be down the back side, which is good for me. Someone left the door open. It was rather silly. Who did you shoot, buddy? I want, I want to know because I want to know what the, like, the range that it's got up there. Because if it's popping Muppets all the way out here, then that's really good for me. I don't know if it was a screamer or a dog or I don't even know what. It was, it was it you. It was you. So it was that one there. Who knows what it shot or why it shot it, but I'm okay that it did. All right. Well, yeah, there you go. A bit of a, a, a abrupt start to an episode, I suppose. But we're back in extinction for day 55 with the Blood Moon Horde bearing down on us rather quickly. Tomorrow night is the next Blood Moon Horde. So I really need to get myself sorted out. I need to get my base sorted out. My um my Horde base is still like kind of in the, the condition that it was left in after the last Blood Moon Horde. So not looking particularly fantastic, but... That's nothing a little, uh, little concrete, a little nail gun, and a little bit of hard elbow grease can't fix up nice and quick. But I did want to... I wanted to change how the zombies actually approach the horde base. Because I had the ladders there last time, but you can see what kind of... Well, there's not really many ladders left over at all anymore, thanks to some errant cop vomit. But if I replace those ladders with a ramp or something, go all the way down there, and, like, match that dog ramp on the other side here, that should mean that this place runs pretty smoothly, I think, when it's all said and done. So that's going to be my job for today. Once I've done some base randos, then I might move on to... I don't know, go raid somewhere or something. Go kill some zombies just because we can... But, uh, I don't know. It shouldn't take too long to do, but I want to do it now before the horde is rolling in. I have replaced my, uh, my battery bank with all the batteries that I found on my adventure the other day. So, that's now full of batteries and almost always completely charged. Well, I can sleep an uh, extra little engine in my generator as well, which wouldn't be a bad shake of the old sauce bottle. God, I'm so glad I renovated this house. With all like the smooth glass everywhere, everything's looking nice and dandy. It's a nice place to be. I'm glad that I did it. But one thing I do need to do that I've been kind of neglecting for a little while. I'll grab just uh, any now. I've got plenty of guns to choose from. Swap you out from there. And I'll grab some resources. Uh, just for now, I just need the wood. Because just outside my door out here is this block. But I think, I think I broke that that one time when I misclicked with the shotgun that destroyed half my house. Because apparently one of the bonuses, and I put that in very hefty, bolded, and italicized quotation marks. Probably one of the bonuses to upgrading all your shotgun stuff is uh, destroying wooden blocks with one shot. Because of course, why not? I've been bitching about that for a while though, so I won't go too far into it. But that block, there we go, is all now nice and fixed. Okay, we're good. I want to get... Let's get all the concrete. How much concrete do I have? There's not a lot in there, but I should have the means to make some more. Uh, I've got plenty of sand. Do I have any stones? I mean, I don't really, but I can probably go get some. We've got a hundred in here. Not very many at all. I was leaving there for the moment then. But I will take all my cement mix, which is actually still in the horde base, actually. Okay, fair enough. No whackers then. Oh, do I have any rebar frames? I do grab those as well. They will come in handy because there's lots to be done, lots to be made. And if I can turn it straight into re uh, or straight into reinforced concrete from the rebar, that's going to save me some time. So I really just kind of want to match what I've done here. I don't want to overdo it. Don't want to uh, you know, push myself too far along my boundaries. So one, two, three, four. Then the stairs start. Oh, oh, I might repair these ones while I'm here as well. These things come down. It's going to be bad news bears for me. Make sure they're all pretty good. Look at much damage the cop vomit does though they're i mean boy they are you never really need demolishers at this point like if you don't do this much damage just with cop vomit just like you know regurgitated burrito bowls then uh who really needs any sort of plastic explosive this does the job as is okay so one two three four then the stairs i got that i got that let's just start it with the frames not do anything too crazy just yet one two three four that was three. Josh learned how to count. There we go. Four goes to there. And then that one is the next one is the stair. And we go one across, then the pillar. Gotcha. Okay. So, 
stairs and then pillar goes here i'm pretty sure this is building up like that just want to get it symmetrical because we all know that unless your base has symmetricality unless your horde base is symmetrical it just will not work against the zombies zombies are only fooled by having symmetricality in all facets of your building life if you put anything off kilter or on the piss the zombies will just ignore it. You can't take advantage of the zombies unless they're getting duped. And they only get duped by aesthetically pleasing designs. Well, that's a little frustrating though. There isn't any bloody stair blocks inside the rebar frames. They can only do like the normal pillars. That is very, very upsetting. <sighs> Fine. Okay, I guess I have to go make myself like the, the normal wet concrete blocks just the normal way, the old fashioned way. Oh my god, I'm gonna need for all the stairs. Oh, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. Why can't I have that in the rebar frames? I've got, I mean, I have these craftable blocks that I can turn into any shape I damn well please. Why can't I just like crook a couple? Why can't I just turn a little bit on, on, on an angle here and there and stagger it down to make some stairs for myself? So frustrating. So bloody frustrating. Here you go. We're concrete block. I'm gonna need, let's go, let's just go like 15, I think, for the moment. Don't wanna get too many. Don't wanna blow all of my concrete load on something that's not super important. In fact, I have any left over in here. I do not. Oh, what I will do while I'm here, though, is go like this and make myself. I need like two iron doors. I need some more iron, but I want to make some of those because I want to protect all like the generator and stuff at the back of the building from the cop vomit. Like some of those uh, blocks took a bit of damage and some of those generators took some damage. So I need to protect that. Putting some doors on that little narrow opening should hopefully do that for me. There we go, two iron doors on the craft. You're still punching out with all my blocks. Yes, you are. While I'm waiting for that, actually. Oh, I never showed you guys. I've been on my journey, on my quest of all quests to try and get two full rows of dollar redos for a very long time now. And I never actually showed you guys the end result. But look at this bad boy. Look at that hotness. Look at that. It's like what? So there's uh, 180 grand on each row. So that's almost $400,000 reduced there. And I've got all this extra stuff here to sell as well. I'm just rolling in cash. If you could fill the bloody swimming pool down there, I'm going to have to drain of that of all its water and fill it with my stash. Because that's just an obscene amount of dollar reduced. But it's all in there. But also, overnight, what I did, I made myself a magazine extender specifically for that new sniper rifle that I found. I want to see, uh, what are you, magazine size 12? So if I bang you onto there... 18. Really? A whole mod to get four extra rounds? That's uh, a little bit disappointing, if I'm completely honest. Why can't I put the drum mag on there? Let me do it. It's still only 7.62. If I can put it on a bloody uh, tacky boy, or I can, I can put it on a sniper rifle for sure. But whatever. Whatever. Don't really care. I wanted to see... Because that's so much more ranged damage. I was going to like, put that one-to-one -one against the tacky boy. But I've got like 60 rounds in Tacky Boy, and that's only got uh, 18. I think just that alone, the damage per second on Tacky Boy will be so much better. I don't think it's not really worth my time doing that. Anyway, while that's been going on, I now have... Oh, wait, the 10 more seconds to get this. All that wet concrete blocky goodness. So you can use that to make the stairs. And then the rest of it can go underneath to be rebar frames, I suppose. On the other side, I did do it out of regular concrete. But, oh, well, whatever. You move with the times. Go roll with the punches. Let's go build this stairway. Not to heaven, to my heaven, to zombie death. So it's pretty silly. The shape envelope for wet concrete blocks is even more limited than the rebar frames. So rebar frames is all like the kind of structural blocks. And then the wet concrete uh, blocks is just like kind of basically just stairs. That's all that's in here. Why isn't that in the rebar frame? Why do they both have all the shapes? Why are they limiting the amount of shapes we can do with each material? I don't understand. I do not understand it at all. Someone please explain it to me. I'd very much like to know. Probably because of that, you bloody drongo. Let's go down to there. I need to get rid of one of you, actually. That's one block too high. Take you. Or could we just frame up on this side to go and put it down nice and evenly. So I don't make a fool of myself doing this. You go like that. Okay, good. I can, uh, I can upgrade the rest of these blocks, I suppose, with the concrete and get them all sorted. I just wanted to kind of connect it up before I got to that point, though. Just so everything's nice and secure, everything's nice and supported. I don't have any collapses. Well, if I do, at least I've got some time to fix it now. It's not like day 35 where everything went tits up very quickly. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now, on this side, yeah, it's all like the normal concrete. Like, I built it out of flagstone, I think, first and upgraded it through cobble into concrete. So that's all still unreinforced. It's not super important. Although it probably kind of is getting there now, like, especially what's my game stage. So apparently, um, 125 was the game stage or something where, where demos will start showing up. I'm now at 141, so I'm pretty confident I'm going to get demos this next time. Which means that if things go really wrong, 
Well, I'm gonna be cooked. You know, I'm gonna be I just utterly and utterly cooked like a bloody goose on Thanksgiving. I don't really want to tempt that fate. Because if the demo explodes over there and takes down the stairs, or the stairs on this side too, then uh I'm gonna be done. I'm gonna be done like a dodo. Not gonna be great for me. So I should probably make it a little bit stronger so it can withstand maybe one demo explosion. I don't want it to be as weak as chips with vinegar on top of them. I want to try and make sure that it can stand up to a little bit of punishment. So all the way down to there. Uh put the stairs on top like that. All the way up to the top. Boom. There we go. Okay, we now have two ramps, and I really think I should, in fact, I definitely will, build another ramp off the front there. So four ramps all converging into one spot, funneling all the zombies into where I want to kill them, and hopefully that will give me some redundancies for when inevitably something does go wrong for me. I mean, look, I've got the concrete to do it. I may as well. Let's just go and upgrade all of these to reinforce as well, because why not? I'd rather be safe than sorry. And if it's going to cost me a little bit of extra concrete, then that's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Like Lord Farquaad sending all the knights off to fight the dragon. Some things have just got to be done if you want to get shwiggity shwooty with Princess Fiona's booty. I mean, little did he know it was way more than he could ever handle, that little short little dick bag. Um, how are we doing? So the turret. Sammy the Sledgy Boy turret. There's been a lot of uh, contention in the comments about how I've been using because apparently putting him there like that is just begging for him to slap up a demo's nips and get all sorts of excited and have the demo explode all over, all over my nice lovely base. So apparently I need to move him and also put some mods into him. So not a bad idea. I might go do that. Apparently I can put like the, the chlamydia mod into Sammy. I'm sorry. I mean, if next Arlene that shows up, I might just like throw something at it and see if he can catch it like for free rather than me having to make it for him. But you never know. But apparently putting that on him is a good time. But he's gonna sort of, I might just put him on this side. You know, look, I've built these pedestals for him. If I just put him on this side, like why not? I can defend against both sides. It's fine. One side is redundant anyway. We'll just put him over here and I'll stand in this corner and they can all come past him and lick his flaming knob. Well, sorry, Sammy, you're going to have to wait for your first dip into an STI factory that is Arlene because apparently... I don't have any more mods. I've so I've put all my mods and all the things I've sold over the journey, and I now have none left for you, bud. So, sorry, you'll just have to if, uh, get that another time. I also never painted my floor here. After I patched up all the floor to like, put in my generators, I uh, forgot to repaint it. That's a little silly, but what I can do... God, this is a lot of base putting before 9 a.m. It's very early in the day still. We're cooking along nicely like we've plugged in a propane cylinder. Let's go... Hmm, how are we going to do this, actually? Let's go like that all the way around. I want it to open. I want it to open so it actually blocks off this bit here. What's the best way to do that? But I also want it to, so if I do open it, I don't block off everything else in there. So, what's the, what's the way you open, actually? How do you open? So if I, let's get rid of you, actually. So the door handle on the right, you open away and to the left. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So if I put you uh, here... So you're going to block, o go over like that and block up the generators, which isn't good for me because I need to be able to access the generators. So over and to the left. So if I put you like that, it's going to come around. Oh, if I put you and like that, it'll come around and block it that way. Oh, but I can't do it from the other side because you can't reverse the doors. Oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying. I don't think there's any particularly good way for me to do this. Let's just go like that. And then we're going to have to go away into the left like that. It's going to put a bit of like a bar in the middle of my door, but that's okay. I can still go through it. And look, then I have like a nice little safety area back here. I should hopefully protect all of that. Look, it's it's not pretty. It's not pretty at all, but it's just going to have to do. This is about function rather than form. Even though I was saying before that zombies will just like massacre an unesthetic base. This is just the best I can do with the materials I got. If there was a way... I, I think this is what this game really needs. Another thing I think this game really needs is like reversible doors. A way to say that these doors, like I'm having a double door, so one of them please be reversed. You've got all these different versions of the door. Just have one that's like a door two. That's the same thing as with the handle on the other side. Just do that. You know, just, just make it a bit easier for us to have nicer designs rather than having to try and work within a system that is about as flawed as the bottom of my foot. Um, oh, it's, it's almost done. It's almost done over here. There's a couple more blocks that I can upgrade. I'm going to turn everything into reinforced out here. I've got the concrete, may as well. Plus, I get a boatload of experience for doing it. So upgrade all of you. There we go. We'll do the other side as well. Yeah, now we're looking good now. We're looking good. I didn't really want to do it, and I still might not. I'm just kind of checking out how expensive bulletproof glass blocks are actually going to be. So I've got plenty of clay I need. I need like every single kind of material needs to go into this thing. I need stone. I need iron. I need lead. 
Oh, it's really annoying. Because what I do want to do, this is actually another idea from the comments. Because I do read the comments. I can't reply to all the comments anymore. But I do read all of them when I can. Uh, and one of the suggestions was that I get rid of the blocks up the top here. And turn it into a bulletproof glass ceiling. Which I actually kind of really like the idea of. Maybe I see what's happening above me. Plus I make it feel a little bit less claustrophobic in here. I kind of like that idea. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need eight blocks of bulletproof glass. Which is a problem because they take, what, 50 lead each? So that's that's quite a lot. So there's 200, 400 lead I need to bang into this bloody forge. I've only got 50 at the moment. This is going to take a lot of doing. It's going to take a lot of doing. I'm going to give a red hot crack anyway. And i got no freaking lead. Well, of course I have any lead. Why would I ever need the lead? I've never, and once in my life, thought, you know what I need right now? More lead until this very moment. Shit. Okay, well. No point just like groveling about it and whinging about it and carrying on like a bloody chook with its head cut off. Grab you. Let's just put a little bit of sand. Oh, I don't need much, actually. How much uh, bulletproof glass do you need? So sand, I need... Fucking all of it, apparently. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? I don't know that it is. It might be... Okay, 137 times 8. Oh, shit. Come on, brain. I know you don't want to, but I'm going to force you to do math right now. It's near enough to 1100 I need. Uh, that's pretty close, actually. Let's just go like that. Yeah, sure, that'll do. Put you in there. Keep the rest of that sand for me. And how much do I need on the iron front? Not as much, I don't think. Bulletproof of glass. Iron, 25. So you're in the need, like, 200. All right, fair enough. It's much easier. Go all the way down to 200. Boom, there you go. Let's just put you in there. Get you smelting away. And while you're going... No, damn it. Oh, <laughs> oh. I hate you, Josh. I hate you so freaking much sometimes. Boom, whatever. That'll... Oh. Close enough. Boom. There we go. Okay. Let's get all that iron back out of there. Because now that I've made a fool of myself by misclicking everything, I've wasted so much time. While that's going, I can go and sort out some lead. Iron's fine. Clay's fine. So I need stone and lead. Okay. Gotcha. I think the horde base, other than like that main ramp at the front, which I'll do before I leave, I think it's all pretty much good to go. I will need some more uh, wet concrete blocks. I need to make the stairs at the front. So it was like six tall. So I need 12. I've got eight. So I might even just go like... Uh, let's go 16 more, I think, should do it. That should give me enough for just the stairs at the front. The rest can be done with the rebar frames. Once I've got that going, I can go on to search for hopefully some lead blocks around here somewhere, grab some stone out of that mine as well, and move on with my life. There's a drop coming in in the distance over there. Did you already drop it, buddy, or did you leave it somewhere? I can't even see. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's usually just... I mean, it's probably right, right out on that derpo, actually. It might be like a double derpo out there. Might have got a quick little gander out there in a little bit on my search for a lead mine. Uh, what was I doing? I was waiting for this to be done. You're still cracking along nicely, though. So I'm going to read my frames. Took up my concrete. I can put the rest of you guys away. You can go away. You can go away. You can go away. Um, I'm sad that there's no mods for Sledgy Boy, though. Sledgy Sam was so keen. He was so keen to get that burning feeling every time he takes a piss. But I've taken it away from him after promising him so much. I feel a little bit bad about that, but I will give you a sneaky deaky repair with all the repair kits I have now. It's been a good little session of me getting the, uh, all my shit in order. Repair you. In fact, I might even grab a couple more of you. In fact, what I should do, if I'm going to go mining... Like, I do have the steel pickaxe, and I love the steel pe uh, pickaxe, but even so, I should probably go and uh, get, make use of my auger. Like, I have it there, and I've never really used it like at all, because the steel pickaxe does fine for me. I never, never really wanted to spare the gas, and also like, causing more screamers than normal, but... I mean, why not? You know, I'll take Sledgy Sam out with me, put him on top of the mine, and if a screamer tries up, hopefully he'll punch her in the face with a big dick of fuck you. I don't know. Let's give it a crack, you know? Why not? All right, so I probably... I might have put... Uh, no, I'll keep Sledgy Sam on me for the moment so I don't forget him later. Let's grab my axe so I can get rid of these bloody ladders out the front here. Reach up and break it down. Thank you for your service. You've been there for a long time and done wonderful things for me. Someone, someone just got murdered? Who got murdered? Who shot who? Why does every time those turrets ruin someone, I can't even see the remnants of the bodies of the people they just shot? Someone definitely got flat out, in, like, just like shot in the nostril. I do have a lot of forges and stuff running. Maybe it was a screamer? But I can't see anyone down here. I just, <laughs> why can I never find the bodies? Are you just, like, completely eviscerating your targets? I can never let them get even closer. You're turning into a pile of mush. Is this what's left over from whoever you just shot? I don't know, but I'd love to know. Like, at least I know you're working. But you're working to the point where I don't actually know that you're working. I can't see the end result. It's so... It's a weird problem to have. Okay. 
Whatever. Put that problem, the not even problem behind us. Cook it. Just make sure you guys are all upgraded as well. There we go. You're now one big solid block of reinforced concrete. Let's get cracking on this bit though. Let's go here, grab you, and start the stairs on the way down. I mean, look, my my perimeter defense is working. I just want to see it happen just once. It's a bit of a sad day, but it's a necessary evil. It's time to finally block up the OG stairs. Not going to break them down. They can stay there as like a memorial to what once was. They serve me well over the journey, so it'd be a shame to get rid of them now. Connect you guys up to there. I just needed to do it first, or uh, well, right now, so that I had support for the rest of this construction here. I'm going to need all four more bloody blocks. Four more wet concrete blocks. God damn it, every single time. Every, like, every time I try and do the math so that I kind of figure out how many I'm going to need, I'm always shy of just that little bit. And then I get nervous about it and overcompensate. Then I'll have just like, you know, a couple of random blocks sitting in a box somewhere for ages for no bloody reason. Just because I can't count past four in my head. You also got along nicely. I've still got you on me. I do need to, though, grab some gasoline to make sure you're nice and refueled. What mods can I put in you, actually? Fuel tank mods? Is it more important to have a fuel tank mod on that or like those two mods, the bunker buster and the um the iron breaker mods? That's probably more worthwhile to me. I only got two mod slots in there than having a larger fuel tank. I think that's probably more worthwhile. Like the goober that I am, I forgot to actually like uh, upgrade these blocks before I put the last of the stairs in. There you go. You can always get around it by just picking the blocks up again. And there we go. There we have it. I'm actually probably not a bad idea to get some more uh, where concrete blocks just turn it into a pyramid like these ones here are, I suppose. Probably not a bad shout on that one. Just not the one we're getting stuck on here. We know from testing in Woodle Park that that's a bad plan to have. So we get a couple more going on there. But that's going to work so much better now that I have, like, well, I mean, three, I suppose, access points. But one's basically a double. So you've got all this access way all around here that should bring all the zombies back up to where I need them to be so I can shoot them in the face with my auto shotgun. That's the dream. That's what I want to do anyway. Upgrade these ones along the way as well, just because I can. Extra experience, but also extra stability and extra safety. Last thing I want now is to have, like, my sky bridge come tumbling down when I least, least need it. That'll be the last of the wet concrete that I think I need. I'm just going to put the rest of this concrete back into my uh, horde base. Grab you, and I'll grab you. Do also need to make sure I grab a bunch of stone while I'm out on my adventures as well. But on my adventure, I'm going to need to give a red hot crack to. Grab both of you, modify that, and go boom, and boom. There we go. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm not particularly confident about it. I don't particularly like the auger, even in the older versions. Probably now it's a bit different again as well, and increases your heat even more than it used to. So... This could be a pretty bad idea, but we'll give it a shot anyway. Give it a chance to prove itself, given how much I haven't used it in the past. I just don't see the point of it, to be perfectly honest. I, I suppose now with um with the all the books read, so that I have that like 50-50 chance of like breaking an ore on the first crack, and the ore get hits it so many times so quickly, maybe it's a bit more worthwhile now. But compared to what it used to be, those doors are still a questionable decision. I'm not sure if they were particularly worthwhile, but hopefully in the hall they'll keep them safe. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If it's so much better, then it's so much better. If not, then we've learned our lesson, but at least we gave it a crack. I'll go get some Rockbusters candy, then I'll jump on motorcycle and take off into the distance and see what we can see, see, see. Oh, I'm dumb. It's because I was searching for stairs before they only had the stairs option in the Work Concrete Block. Work Concrete Block does have all of the options. Okay, fair enough. It's a shame that um Reinforce or Rebar Frames don't have that, but we'll move on and stop bitching about it. There we go. That should be that should be just good enough. They're not really going to get stuck on there. You can see you kind of pop right up. So no real issues there. Um, oh, that's there. Let's go get that rock candy. My uh, motorcycle is still in my gyrocopter. And I guarantee you I'll forget to put it back there once I'm done with this. You can just go there. I'm ready. I'm ready to go mining. Bit of a bit of a different episode today. It's what? Horde base building, which I guess isn't really different. And mining. Two things I usually try and shy away from. But sometimes you just got to get it done. And this seems to be one of those times. I'm hoping not to have to go too far out into the wilderness to find uh, a lead node. They're usually pretty plentiful around the joint. Just going to find one close by and latch onto it with all of the clinginess that you possibly can muster. Some random rocks and stuff like that. Oh, is that something over there? No, it's a shrub. These stupid little shrubs here, the ones like just in front of my bike, they look a little bit like a lead node from a distance. So you get kind of excited about it. Then when you get there, oh, there's a coal node just there too. Oh, a nitrate. So that's... You know what? I'm going to mark that. I am going to mark that because that right there, that is a gunpowder mine. Coal and nitrate is what you need for gunpowder. And there's two of them right there. Gunpowder mine. Min. Fine. We'll just go gunpowder. We'll just go gunpowder like that. I'll come back for you another day. Not really necessary right now, but at least I know you're there for the future. Exploring is a good time. As long as you make note of where shit actually is, you got to cut hogifies. That shit. 
This is not looking particularly outstanding at all so far. Finding uh, lots of like little rocks and stuff everywhere and iron nose and things like that, but nothing that I'm actually looking for. This is the thing. As soon as you start actually looking for something, and that's when you can never ever find it again, which is why I'm going to mark it on the map when you do happen to stumble across it when you're not looking for it. Damn it, where is it all going to be? Like, I'm trying to look over in the distance as well where the grass hasn't rendered in yet because you can see a little bit easier, like all the resources on the ground. But even so, not going particularly well for me. Oh, look at that iron and nitrate there again. Maybe I should probably go, but I don't have any money on me. Maybe I should go back to, back home, grab some cash, and go on a Vendo run now that I'm not in my gyrocopter. Probably not a bad idea. And if I stumble across a lead mine while I'm out there, then that's pretty okay too. See, what I'm actually trying to do is trick the game into thinking I don't want lead mines anymore. This absolutely isn't going to work. I feel a little bit bad, actually. It's been a very... Ooh. It's been a very long time since I rode the motorcycle, uh, motorcycle anywhere, especially for a decent amount of time. Because I got a new toy. You know, the motorcycle was with me for so long. It was my pride and joy. I rode it every day and every night for as long as my stamina could handle it. And then as soon as I got something uh, shinier and newer, I mean, look, in fairness, the gyrocopter was basically like the Chelsea or the Gen of the vehicle world. It was something so much better on such a different level that it put me on cloud nine and up. I put my head into the clouds, but I still want to ride my old Arlene anymore. I feel bad sometimes. You know, we've been through a lot together and I just threw you aside like a rusty old chum bucket. Feel bad sometimes. Feel bad. Feel bad about leaving an inanimate object behind. I probably shouldn't. Still no sign of any lead veins though. I mean, no, I'm here for the vents. I'm here for... I'm here, Josh. You are here for vending machines. If you happen to run across a shiny rock at some point, that's going to be lovely dovely. Do you hear that, Seven Days Gods? I'm here for vending machines. I don't care about lead veins anymore. So if you want to like fuck my face with lead and give me lead poisoning, paint my room with lead, that's fine too. Nothing in Trader Rex joint, but I think actually, now that I'm actually trying to use the old noodle upstairs, didn't I stumble across some lead in this iron mine at the front here? I think I might have. Could we could just have a quick little gander first. That looks like nitrates. Uh, in fact, where's my pickaxe? I might just quickly test it with the pickaxe. Yep, your nitrate. All right, fair enough. What else is down here? There's some more iron. Oh, is that lead up there? That looks like lead, actually. Oh, don't, come on, get up. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. Up. Can I get up onto the body block, please? What's wrong with you? Use your noodle legs to jump for once in your life. Not the most athletic Muppet in the world, but you've got to do better than that. It is lead. What was I even worried about that? I already knew where lead was. I just forgot about it for a second. Now I can't get out. God, this mine is a death trap. Well, I am actually... Now I'm thinking about it, given that I can't get out of this place. Is it too deep? Then it's gonna, like, if a screamer does show up, then Sammy the Sledgy Boy isn't gonna be able to protect me? Is that gonna be a problem for me? Like, if I put you up here, is the range gonna be able to work? Or are you just gonna, like, watch the screamer walk straight on by and come down the hole and cause several issues for me? Well, I'll put my faith in you, Sammy Boy. It's, it's you and me against everyone who shows up, so please don't let me down. I really hope we can do this together. Yep, you're still on. All right, we're good. Well, no time like the present. Rockbuster candy. Mining harvest plus 20%. Give me that. I could put a point into, um, uh, what was it? Like salvage operations, I think it was. I can't remember what it was. Oh, God, that's very loud. And not as, oh, 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 damn it. Not especially quicker than the pickaxe, I suppose, but you can see because it's hitting it so many times. Each one of those has a 50-50 shot of destroying the ore immediately. So, yeah, that is... It's a lot quicker than the pickaxe. Okay, I stand corrected. This was a good idea, I hope. Do you know make sure I can manage to go and get some rock as well at some point? I need lots of those for my concrete making business and my um, uh, bulletproof glass as well. I need rock for everything, apparently. Uh-oh. Oh! Sammy? Sammy, this is your moment, bud. This is what we talked about. This is what we trained for. I'm stuck in here. I'm stuck in this bloody divot. I can't get out. Sammy, come on, bud. Come on, bud. I need to hear the whir of your engine. Yes, there you go. I He's doing something up there. <laughs> Are you dead, love? No, you're not. Uh-oh, you're about to be. Please don't scream. Oh, Sammy. Sammy, you betrayed. Not only did you not kill her, you set her down to ruin my life as well. All right, Sammy, I'm leaving you up there. Yep, here comes the rest of them. If they're all going to come down that hole and fall, I can't believe he fucking ragdolled. He ragdolled that mole and put her down the bloody ditch. And I didn't have a bolt loaded to take care of her. So, like, bit of both of our bads there. That was not really what I expected to happen. Now it's all you, Sammy. It's all you, Sammy boy. Get the job done. And I'll stand down here to pick up the stragglers. I'm not entirely sure what's happening up there, but it says that there's a lot of zombies. I'm kind of curious when they're going to, like, show up and kind of, like, beat through the ceiling right on top of me. But it sounds like Sammy boy is still doing the job. Alright, I definitely saw some crumbles. I definitely saw some crummy boys coming down. 
All right, Sammy. All right, Sammy. I'm coming to help. I'm coming to help. Oh, boy. Boy, am I coming to help. You definitely look like you're going to need it up there. Are you dead? You are now. Up onto there, please. There we go. I'm on fire with this. Everyone's like, like, whole, like, this is like, a, like an OG natural killing corridor. There's a little funnel to bring all the zombies into so you can have your way with them. Oh. Huh. All right, well, that wasn't how I really intended this adventure to go, but we're here now anyway. Let's get our auger back out. Let's get you nice and loaded back up again. All right, Sammy. Well, you did your job. Almost. You almost killed the Screamer. But you just sent her down into hell. Pity I was down there already. That's all right. A little test run. At least now we know. If the crossbow's loaded up, we can kill her before she screams. That's a perfect system. Uh-oh. Sammy. Sammy. It's you, buddy. Come on. Do your thing, Sammy. I'm ready. I'm ready down the bottom when she comes flopping on down. What are you screaming for already? You never know where I am. Oh, that's just rude. That's just bloody rude. Sammy, you didn't do the job this time. Fine, I'll do it myself. There you go. See how hard that wasn't? I mean, I'm fine to come back over here. This uh, little layout apparently isn't particularly bad, especially with a shotgun to defend yourself with. I just wanted a nice peaceful day in the mines. I'm going to go get some resources. Oh, I just decapitated that guy on the slippery slide down. Super fun. Happy side. Another screaming bitch too. I'm pretty sure I just murdered you. You definitely didn't get the scream off in time. Buddy, he shot up like Homer Simpson, bloody vampire lair. Super fun, happy slide. Took the slide down. And instead of landing in the bloody vampire's jaws, took a shotgun to the nose. So how are we looking? We've got 2,000 stone, almost almost 6,000 lead, and some iron. I might just keep on going for a little bit. Just to use the last of you guys. Get a cheeky deeky last little break. Got a little bit of time for I have to go back home again. I still need to... Like, I don't know if that, like, uh, the chance to one-hit things counts against, like, reinforced concrete and stuff, or is it only specifically all? Because I wouldn't mind going home and actually, like, getting rid of some of those, uh, like, the concrete blocks above my horde base I need to get rid of to put the glass in. Might have to do that overnight. I might need some iron as well while I'm here, too. Grab all you guys and keep on digging this hole even deeper down. There'll probably be some more screamers, but whatever. They can funnel into the hole of death. I don't mind. There's shotgun rounds for everybody. You guys have to make a nice orderly queue and take it in the face. All right, I think that I'll have to do for now. I didn't even get through one of my rock buster candies either. 10 minutes is a long time, apparently. I can't really deal with the scream hordes anymore, but I've got lots of nice stuff. I might even just... I mean, I'm down. I might just, like, cut a little tunnel into the stone over here because I can. Just because I want all that all that stony goodness. You don't give me any stone, though. You're all bloody clay. Where's all the stone gone? Do I have to keep going down to find some bloody stone? I didn't think I'd have this much trouble finding just, like, the normal basic resource that everything is built off of. Oh, it's just all clay soil. Stop giving me clay soil. Is it because I'm under a house or something? What's going on here? Let's go, I don't know, over that way, I suppose. I was really expecting to be easy to get that. I was like, oh, I'll just grab a little bit on the way out. But apparently it's hard to find. There we go. That's what I wanted. I just like put the auger down and dug down until I found some bedrock. And I'll take all of that with me. Seeing as I need stone for everything, I might spend the last little while, or the last two minutes even, of my Rockbuster candy, just taking what I can out of the core of the earth. Take all and give nothing. Like the whole human race before me. This is for good reason, though. You know, I'm the last of the Cuban breed, apparently, except for the traders, apparently. Me and Jen need to repopulate the earth, and we can't do that without a nice, self-sufficient horde base. Only 20 seconds left, but it's almost night time anyway. There you go. Trade Potatoes is now closed as well. I just need to get up and out of this joint because I'm a little bit trapped right now. Not the most uh, efficient build I've ever had in my life, but at least I know that the zombies can't get down here either. They have done a bit of a number up the top. Sledgy Sam, thank you for... Well, you, you, you did your best effort, actually. Not your... Like, not your finest hour, I suppose, but you tried your best and we didn't die, so I guess I can't complain too much. Huh. <sighs> Okay, well, night's about to fall. That's fine. I've got plenty of gas and plenty of time to get back home again. We'll bang all that lead into the forge. Start crafting, so uh, what is it, like eight? Oh, how are you doing, Arlene? You're going to come home and lick Sammy for me? Just give him what, whatever venereal diseases you currently have. Just like, take like a handful of that and smear it all over his face. And just see what you can do with it. You know, see what you can infect him with. If it happens to get a couple of extra ones on top, this is going to make him even more vicious, even more dangerous to the zombie kind. And I'm fine with that. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Here we go. Just like plonk it back home. In fact, what I might do even, I'll take you. Oh, wait. Before I do that, let's be a responsible bike owner and not lock it up. But we'll go here and we'll go refill you back up to spick and span and full and happy. Don't want to flood it, mate, but still want to put enough in there to get me around on my next adventure. Boom. You can go into there. So the auger actually did pretty well, I think. It's probably better in the long... It's probably better for mining, whereas I'll still keep the pickaxe for like raids and stuff like that. Take down doors and whatnot. Try and find some more mods to fill up my pickaxe again. But... I'm okay with that. I'm okay with how the auger turned out. Plus, I found some silver nugs as well in my adventures. That's pretty bloody good. Ah, oh, home sweet home. 
I, I love this house. I really do. When the time comes out to say goodbye to this place, I'm going to be very, very upset. But for the meantime, I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts. You go there. Let's just get like three. Uh, go, ooh. Oh, let's get 3,000. Sure. 3,000 put you into there. Turn you on for 10 minutes. I wish everything in life could be turned on as easy as stuffing it full of frames and pressing a button. Doesn't seem to work out so well. In fact, I get yelled at for doing that. Even when I just like, just try it. Just suggesting it. Seems to get people pretty irate. Apparently, it's not the way to do things. Um, what else do I need in here? I've got some stone as well. How's my sand looking? Got plenty of sand. Okay, you can stop. I'm gonna put some... Not all the stone in, actually. How much stone... You turn off for a second. How much stone do I actually need for this? Um, 12. So, uh, what's... That's not gonna be 24, 48. Okay, so I need 48. I'll just put like 100 in. Rather than trying to do math and making a fool of myself, because clearly arithmetic is not my strong suit. Boom. Have that. That'll do. That'll do for now. The rest of you can come with me and get turned into cements. I'm going to need it later on. Make sure you put your tools away, Josh. You can go back into there. Oh, yeah. I'll find some mods for uh, that pickaxe another time. I've got nothing really on me right now that I can use. It's like an ergonomic grip mod or whatever. I don't really care too much. Poor old Samuel Boy is going to have to fight another day just as he is, but that's okay. That'll be fine. You guys go back into there, and Gas can go back into there as well. Oh, man. What a day. What an unexpectedly intense day. I, thought, I mean, I don't even know what the what the turret shot. I could have potentially been four Screamer Hordes today. I just don't know. That's quite a lot. That's quite a hefty amount of Screamers, but you take it as it comes. Um, Sammy boy. All right, I'll do what people have been telling me to do, because apparently if I put him on the right-hand side, he's going to trigger a demo nip. So I'll put you over here. Apparently that's better. I don't know. I guess we'll find out because tomorrow night is going to be Horde Nights. I think this place is as good as I can get. I think this is about as good as I can hope for. All I need to do now is just do the last of the upgrading. Wow, that was a lot of concrete that's dried right then. Upgrade that into reinforce with all the extra concrete I just made. I don't really know, you know? At this point, it's not, it's not so much about, you know, desperate measures to try and survive. At this point, I'm pretty comfortable surviving. I was just trying to make sure that I'm, uh, you know, making the best of what I have and not making any stupid decisions. Like, if I get called out in a POI somewhere because I'm going raiding on Horde Day, that would be a really bad time. But I think I'm pretty much ready to take on the Day 56 Blood Moon Horde, which, if I survive, will increase the difficulty of this series to insane difficulty and nightmare speeds. It's going to go full maxed out difficulty to see if I can handle myself for the last two weeks of Extinction. But I have to see what's going to happen in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.